Here's a question. How, yes. I mean, presumably you're a Catholic and a faithful one and someone who wants- Do you wants want the Catholic story? Well, we can, can give it to you. Yeah, but here's a question first. Okay. I, I want to know how you balance being in a secular field uh, and, a, and one that's so, uh, you know, perilous. Yeah. Uh, given woke culture. And remain a Catholic. Like, how do you not lose your soul amidst oh, this while trying to be funny? That's very easy. I'm very unsuccessful. <laughs> this has been a great um, help to me is having so little to lose. If I'm cancelled, I lose as many as 2,000 people on Instagram who uh, mostly get pictures of me taking trees. I don't know um, how. I, yeah, I try not to balance it. I think if you try and balance something, you're. I know people who are Christians. Who are not out Christians and mm. they try and their life seems like torture. Like they're worried all the time that things are going to be taken away from them and they're not going to be given opportunities that they can't provide for their families. I mean, if there is any proof that the left has captured like institutions, it's that people on the left are very happy saying whatever they feel like and people who are religious basically just shut up, you know? Like there's a lot to lose. But I, uh, I have nothing to lose because we are very poor. Uh, fair, fair enough. I just, I know for myself as a Catholic, I'm so tired of um, there being Catholic personalities only to disappoint all of us, like Jim Gaffigan and others. Mm. Well, he- Who take his kids to pride parades and- <laughs> Hey, there are, um, if someone should tell him pride is a sin, you know, it's one of the big seven. But I don't think that's the other thing going on at the Pride Parade. It's not just people going, I'm great. Um, <laughs> I don't... Uh, yeah, like there is... <sighs> like especially someone going. like... As someone as talented... Shut up. Someone okay. as talented mm. as you who really has the... I think really has a possibility of being mm. big. How do you decide to, to what to do? Because I can imagine... And we don't have to make this about you if that's too awkward. No, but like, can I give Anybody you, who's trying to make it in the public sphere. I think as a Catholic it's easy because it's not a hateful religion. Right, like everything is depends who you fr- ask, but yeah, there are hateful people, sure. No, but I, don't I think mean that. I it's mean such that- a fundamentally love-driven thing, mm. and there's room for so many. Yeah, you know, there's room. I mean, it's universal, right? It's in the it's in the name. Yeah, but I think about even the church's teaching on homosexuality and how that is different to a conservative Protestant teaching on homosexuality. Where on the face of it, it looks very similar, right? It's um, you, you can't be doing that. But there's no, <laughs> right? But there's no. I think that was Aquinas who said that. Yeah, you can't, can't be doing that. that. <laughs> but the, like you also within the natural law that Catholics hold to, you can't masturbate ever. <laughs> not and, even on Wednesdays. Not, and when you have sex with your wife, you can have it in one specific way that will result in having more children than I at least know what to do with. <laughs> and everyone who's in charge of the religion ostensibly is not meant to be having sex at all. So the bar there is not just like, don't do that. It's yeah. like, here is this enormous bar that really, no matter your sexual orientation, well, is I, very I mean, hard to live by. Certainly you're right. And what you're saying is very logical. I just don't think that those who would consider us their ideological opponents would be interested in the nuance. Yeah, no, I'm kidding about new ones. Then they're not. I mean, my sister's in a band called Heaps Good Friends. They're really terrific. Okay. She's kind of dialed it back since she got married. But, you know, they were were getting big. I mean, I heard her song playing in the airport in Australia, and they had, I think, not Target, but uh, anyway. I know Heaps Good Friends. Yeah, check them out. They're really good. But, you know, I know she was interviewed and uh, asked certain questions where she felt like, if I give the wrong answer here, that's not good. I think I do know Heaps Good Friends. Do you? That's very cool. Where are they based? Well, Adelaide. She well, she lives in Brizzy. Yeah. And uh, but the guitarist and the drummer, I believe, live in Adelaide. You see him? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm going to follow them on Instagram at another time. It's unprofessional. No, be on my phone now. No, yeah, yeah. I've got a serious phone addiction. Yeah, yeah. I, people will remind me. <laughs> but um, but you don't have to like. People don't have to be nuanced in their hatred of you, and they never will. But if you can go, I. I feel very good about what I believe. Mm. I love everybody. I, I want everybody. And also, I'm a massive, I'm going to rein back the swearing. I want to say a word. I'm a big failure, right? Like you can't, if you're everybody, saints, you have to go to confession 
semi-regularly if you're paying attention to yourself. Mm. Like it is not, um, whereas I feel like within uh, some Protestant things where you can, ha- you can have contraception, right? You can, masturbating is a matter between you and your genitals. <laughs> like, and then at that point when they also say, oh, but you can't be gay, you're like, well, that does seem like weirdly singling out gay yeah. people as yeah. the one that you don't personally want to do and that you can hate people for, right? Like, and you can have a God hates <laughs> sign at a military funeral. I don't fully understand what's happening. And, t- I mean, to be fair, most Protestants don't hold that view. I only say that not to correct you. I know you no, agree no, with that, but sorry. there's definitely a bunch of proddies who are watching. I, I think there's room But I think there is a hypocrisy there. Yeah. Like, I think, yeah, I agree with you. Like, to be pro-contraception and be open to that, open to masturbation, open to all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then to say no to sodomy does seem inconsistent. You love. I've heard you say sodomy before. Yeah, I, said. I think we should continue to use ugly words for ugly behaviours. I want to know why so Gomorrah I, had to go. I want to bring back. What were they doing at Gomorrah that they had to be destroyed? Also, <laughs> what about Gomorrah behaviour? We don't discuss this enough. I personally feel. What do you think it might be? Hmm? If you had to speculate, voyeurism. They were watching what was happening inside. <laughs> they were having too good a time of it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you liked and if you loved, subscribe.